Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my client Megan in my chair and she's a natural redhead and we're gonna take her a little bit brighter. Red hair is very crazy, it has a mind of its own. It doesn't like to lift easy and on top of that, it doesn't really like to take demi-permanent color and even struggles taking permanent color. So if you wanna learn some tips and tricks and how I tackle taking her a little bit blonder, keep watching. So first thing is first, she usually comes twice a year, but now starting this past year, she made a thing where she wants to start coming three times a year every four months to keep up with it a little bit better and maintain that brightness. Every time we do her hair, we do overlap. We also do a good cut. Her hair is very healthy and you would never even know we overlap every single session. And there's tips and tricks to this to keep the hair healthy. I'm going to mix up two bowls of lightener, Joyco Blonde Life, my holy grail, one bowl of 20, of course, with a 16th ounce of Olaplex, and then a bowl of 10 volume, which are going to be used for the lighter pieces that already have been lightened previously. Every other time we do add a low light, preferably a level 5-ish, 6-ish, usually like a 5N, 6NB along those lines. Today we're not going to do that. We're just going to strictly keep it to foil work with baby lights. And I mean baby lights. Very fine, very small, and very tedious, but worth it. And we're also going to be, once again, applying 10 volume on those already previously lightened ends. A question I tend to get all the time when people see me using two different bowls of lightener to make things a little bit more evened out or whether I'm kicking the ends out and I don't want to be too strong with the 20 or anything higher and I want to lower it or vice versa. Maybe there's a little permanent color in the ends and I want to do 30 on the ends and 20 at the top on the virgin hair, whatever it may be. You'll notice that I apply that 20 volume on the darker pieces, drag it down a little bit, then I take the lighter pieces and apply the 10 volume and almost mush them on top of each other. And the thing that's really crazy about this is a lot of people tend to think it's mixing it together and the 20s getting on it. But once you already apply that 20 and you apply that 10, it's almost like a barrier on it. I've never had any hair fry off. I've never had any issues, you know, come from this. So I'm thinking it's totally fine. Um, you don't have to be so worried about, you know, a little bleach getting the 20 on a little bit of the blonde. It's totally fine. Just like when we blend color, I've never had an issue. Mm -hmm. So I did tip out her ends. I teased and weaved every other piece of hair. I left a little bit in there as well. We want a little bit of dimension. I don't want to just go and tip everything out fully. Um, you know, it's a little healthier this way. And her hair always goes really, really brassy no matter what. Because she has those really, really strong orange tones underneath because she's naturally a redhead. So I'm tipping out with 20 volume because we need a little bit more kick. Her hair has a hard time lifting. And on the outskirts of the head, with you're doing tipped out ends and not baby lights, that hair does tend to not lift as well. It doesn't get heat from the scalp. And it also does stay pretty cold. And you guys know I'd rather let them sit for an hour than actually put them under the heat or a dryer. That's really, really damaging to me. And I'd rather have safer, healthier hair with a longer processing time and a lower developer. 
around the hairline and the side sections i go in really tightly packed baby lights only no slicing at all in the money piece bang area i do do two very fine slices and then back it back to back to back to back with baby lights for about six more baby lights packed tightly and then we move into the normal size baby lights and subsection hot with all those foils cool her down all right guys, so we did the 10 volume, the 20 volume, and we tipped out some ends, more at the top. I always did two. I always left a little subsection, and we did a regular highlight tip out stitch, not a baby light. So those pops are very nice. Let's take a look at this one, shall we, and see how this is lifting. These never lift as well. You can bump up the developer if you need to. She always struggles to get past that little bit of like orange yellow, like level eight, but she will get to a nine by the time we're done. All right, so I let her process for a full 65 minutes. No heat and just low and slow is the way to go. She lifted beautifully. So now a weird choice for my root shadow. I know something out of the norm, but I am doing this formula for a reason. Redheads that are natural redheads do not take demi-permanent color well at all. Half the time they don't even take permanent colors. So what I did was I did equal parts, six NB and five NA. So I still have an NA in there, but NB because that's a true neutral in shades EQ. The natural ends run really, really cool. So they're also great for gray blending. So I figured it will like help it stick a little bit better. And I also did do it with 10 volume for better coverage. That will help it latch on a little bit better than processing solution. I've been doing her hair since she was like 17 years old. It's been almost four years, so I know her hair very well. Usually I'll do Joyco Lumashine because it does have a little bit more opaque or opacity and more coverage um, to it, but I was out of the levels I needed for her, so that's why I went with that shades formula. Now with the toner, a little trick I like to do, you've seen me do it before, I break the rules, but you got to know the rules before you break them. I mix Colorants with Shades EQ, and I did 10V, 10P, then 9VG, 9P, equal parts of the developers. And you guys, wait till you see the results. It came out beautiful. to show you guys straight before we um, wave it because I know that I always make sure my work looks good straight first. Like, look at this, you guys. Oh. Unbelievable. This is the brightest she's ever been. It looks so good. The color is just amazing. Oh, even all the way in the side. Look at that side hair. Like, that's so cool. And this is inside. We'll turn the ring light on when we're done with the waves and show you guys real quick and take a few photos. We love it. She loves it. I love it. And her hair feels good still. We just did a really good cut. And oh, first time we used, we used Shades EQ on her. Well, second time. First time I didn't really do much, but I did 6NB, 5NA, as opposed to like a 6N6NA. All right, guys, there you have it. Another one now is in the history books. Let me know down below what you think. Leave video ideas. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. I love you guys so very, very much. I hope you have a great Memorial weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, so long for now, guys. Mwah.